Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. Uh, more into the Matrix, more Niobe normal, which I don't even know why I'm still playing the game. I've already beaten the game. I've seen what I ha what I had to see. The only difference is Niobe plays differently, and I don't know if I want to keep going with the game. I'm gonna play through it now, but only because like I, it's already there. Uh, one thing, I am doing more pixel art, or I, I am starting to get into pixel art. I have something in the works for, uh, like, let's say, uh, a character I'm making. It's like a character that I've had for a while, but I'm starting to work on it in pixel art form to kind of, like, get it ready for, like, some, some different sprite works, so on and so forth. Right now, all I got is like a rough, uh, pretty much like um, a character sheet, T posed, all that to kind of like showcase how the character is going to look for majority of the of the time. That is one. Two, I am moving, or I will be moving soon, within like probably like mid October, more or less. So that's when that's when I I will be moving. So if there's no videos for like let's say that week, the week prior, yada yada yada, you know why. And three, um, I haven't looked at the comments before, <clears throat> and so I will say this now and then look back at the comments see what happened. Um, I, I don't think there were any comments, but maybe for this video there will be comments. Uh, How do you feel about me live streaming? If so, what game to Dark Souls would you like to see me live stream? It could be any game. I'm not opposed to anything, but I was thinking more along the lines of like MMOs, RPGs, and like long single player games. Those would be like my ideas to for games to stream. With that said, all of that is said and done. Let's get back into this. I don't know what else to really say about like Enter the Matrix here. I really don't. I don't I I still think this is like a terrible game. And it's and it's it's becoming clear. So it's, it's becoming like a bit more clear. After playing hard mode, coming to normal mode is like, it's an easier time, but it's also boring. So, it, it's a, a tough situation, right? Obviously, they didn't have time to like perfect anything. They didn't have time to do anything really good. But if I were to play this game on normal, it's like, it's interesting as like a one-off kind of situation like you might as well just have one main character and i i like what they tried doing try to show like both sides of like the in-between story but realistically after you beat it once like for the most part the story is not really existent like, I, all I am right now is on the other side of what would have been, like, the sewers part. But realistically, it's like, I, I find it to be more boring, and I find hard mode to be more engaging. The reason why I find hard mode more engaging, as frustrating as it is, is because it, it tells me to interact with the mechanics. That's why I mostly play games on hard. It it tells me interact with the mechanics, learn the mechanics, learn the ins and outs of the game. See how you can use all of this to your own like advantage. This doesn't teach me that. This just says, hey, go ham, have fun, which not a bad thing, all things considered, but it 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 it's fairly safe. A lot of normal modes is fairly safe. It doesn't. Well done. 
Okay, step it up. I'm coming. That's pretty much it. Because because uh normal mode, like I didn't even have to interact with any mechanics there. It just so happens to just be there. Oh, other side, huh? But yeah, it's like, I'm not interacting with, with mechanics. I'm not really learning how to play the game. I'm kind of just like rushing it. I'll head them off. You fail to protect Ballard. Again. So it's like, what do I do in like this type of situation? I fail to protect Ballard. The moment I even, I'm still in, in like mid cutscene and they fire down. I'm not interacting with mechanics. I'm not interacting with anything. And I kind of have to do things a bit more on the fly. Which also means by the time I get up there, I have to put in, um, realistically, I have to just kind of like put in, um, like go into focus. I have to interact with that mechanic. But that's the only mechanic that you ever really interact with. So, yeah, th th that's my thoughts on, like, that's more of my thoughts on this game. It's just, it, it needed more time. Like, sorry to, like, the developers and people who actually, like, like this game. But it's like, this game needed more time. Because... There's really nothing interesting going on at this in this game. A lot of it also feels like it's it's weird. It feels like nothing's really happening, and it has maybe it's because I haven't watched The Matrix or like the two movies before this to see anything. I don't know. I don't think there's anything more to this game other than like, hey, it's a movie tie-in that kind of fails to be a movie tie-in. Ah, right there. Who else are you shooting at? There was a guy up here? No. I got a sniper and another sniper. I don't know. There's, I, I, there's not much to this game. Gun here, gun here. Yeah, we'll save progress, but I don't know why we're saving here. I want men posted guard watching all the maintenance phones down here. Phillips, right here, sir. Take four of your squad and stake out this phone. If anyone approaches, shoot to kill. Yes, sir. Why the hell do they have us guarding a phone? I don't know why I'm not hard hard locked. Hmm. Can I 
go down here? What's gonna happen down here? Yeah, like, here's what changed with all of that, right? His accuracy only went down two shots. Okay, so where am I going? Am I just heading down? Is that really it? I'm just heading down? Utterly useless. Uh, okay. Here, again, the, the frustration, right? It doesn't tell me where to go. It is not really pointing me in a direction. Not until, like, after a while. It doesn't give me an objective. So when I say like a lot of things are wrong with this game, I really mean like this game like needed to not exist. Like simply put, it didn't need to be a movie tie-in. Like I, I, I get what they were trying, trying to do, right? They wanted like a movie tie-in to go with like the to go with like um again the movie. They wanted a movie tie-in to go with the movie and they thought, hey, we can do something like this. But a dot hack this isn't. Like even dot hack as much as I love that game, has its flaws. It, it does. But at some point, it had time to develop, it had time to do things, and it made like an, a, a very expansive story. Like right there, right? You give me no time to react, I'm still on the ladder. Wow, you give me that prompt. But I gotta go down to the phone. You are a dipshit. I can only assume you're sending me back in. Yeah, I'm sorry, Captain, but I need to put you back in. There's a mess in there. Ghost is in the heat of it. He's holding back some troops to buy time for the others. We got a lot of injuries. Put me somewhere where I can do some good. Jacob from the Gnosis is injured and unconscious. Corrupt is protecting him right now, but they're pinned down in the hydro pump room at the end of the concourse. I told them to open the vent. I'll watch over you, Captain. What the f what? This is what I mean by a janky ass mess of a game. Like this game serves no purpose to a <sighs> So like the thing about this game, right? It it would have been better served. I'm going to pause it real fast. This game would have been better served. We'll, we'll do this. It, it would have been better served as like a side movie, a side plot to to the much larger picture. For example, um, it could have been like a TV show. It could have been something else. It didn't have to be a game. It could have been a book. Like, it being a game make, makes it interesting. 
but realistically, it would have to have done things a lot better. It was better off as like, let's say like a small cinematic, maybe like an hour long, like 30 minutes to an hour long, something like that. And it could have been on like its own DVD. It was like, or like one, its own DVD or two, like a pre, a pre-order or like, like a bonus to the actual, like enter the matrix three of like, here's what happened in between. Or it could have been tacked on. It didn't have to be its own thing. It didn't have to be a game. The fact that it's a game with very with, with like the I don't know the the development time. I'll have to look into it. If I do make one more video, I will most likely look into everything as to why this game is. Because uh, in my head, it being a rushed game, it being a movie tie-in, it trying to like build its own mechanics from scratch it fails in a lot of different ways that's like even our normal mode again if the bugs exist on easy normal and hard difficulty doesn't matter the only thing difficulty does is the frequency of things hitting you firing at you health and damage that's it it doesn't affect how many enemies are in the area. It doesn't affect. Like, yeah, it doesn't affect how many enemies are in the area. It doesn't affect whether or not you have like any sort of help. It doesn't affect anything gameplay wise. It only affects what the enemies can do. And how frequently they do it. That's it. It, t it basically tells you, you need to learn all of these mechanics. To ensure that you can actually survive. Me throwing a grenade and then it hitting something I don't know. And then coming back down. If I did not move, I would have blown myself up. And like, now we get the tracker. Oh, I got a, I got an auto shotgun. Nice. Oh. Okay, so what, okay, here's, here's part of the story that changed, right? Ghost didn't go through this until like much later. At least I don't think he did until much later. Yes, I'm firing madly. Basically, it's just gonna tell me come down here, but I have to trigger that. Again, this is where things become a bit stupid. Like, I know exactly where I need to go, but I gotta trigger this bullshit over here first. For it, Just for it to tell me, hey, you need to trigger something
Oh, I guess I could just come down here, huh? Hmm. What's over here then? Nothing. Clear. So what's over there? Is over here nothing? Over here is nothing. Cool. I'll be taking this shotgun then. Alright, so let's see. Do this. Do I what? Do I open that or do I just unflood it? And this is what I mean by like, I can ignore half the shit here. So what, I just now go up here now? Oh, yeah. And do, do I what? Do I have the sniper now shooting from up top and ghost it at the bottom? Like, what does this change? Correct. This changes nothing. All right, I'm going to make this a short video. Because, like, I, I really cannot stand playing this game for, like, much longer than needed. Because, like, I have nothing interesting about this game anymore. So like, so thank you for watching. I hope you'll enjoyed. I certainly didn't, and I don't know if I'm gonna be picking up this game again. Like I don't care about Ni uh, Niobe's story enough to like warrant a second playthrough. The it's pretty much like more of the same thing. There's nothing different. There's no new mechanics. All it is is like a different side of the same story that's really all it is and i don't care about looking at the opposite side if it changes nothing because usually in a story is like you get some ex oh, big, big, biggest example torak 3 with torak 3 you have is is still the same thing two sides of the same coin you have that, but they add in different gameplay elements. They add in different things that warrant the second playthrough to be different, to not feel the same, and how you approach it. For example, um, I, I, I think it was Danielle and Joseph. Danielle has more of the ballistics, more of the, um, is it ballistics? Am I using that right? More of the explosive weapons, more of like, we'll say like that, right? More of the explosive weapon, more of the um, rainbow type weapons, the bigger weaponry. 
And the way she plays is from point A to point B, she has a grapple hook, which means she's taking different routes than what Joseph would have taken. Joseph gets night vision goggles, and he goes through darker areas. He goes through a different path. It, they reach the same area, but the mechanics are different enough that you warrant a different way of playing the game. On top of that, Joseph has more of the precision weapons. So because his weapons is more precision based, he plays far more differently than how Danielle plays, which warrants a second playthrough because now you're getting a different experience towards the same end. You no longer have ha have like a reliance on like the same weapons you did for, as Danielle versus Joseph. In this one, there is no difference in how each character plays. The only thing different is like some key points. There's not enough differences to like warrant everything. So like, realistically, I think this game is just is 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 done. That's it. Cause like again, I it, I don't care for the middle of the story if the end of the story is the same thing and if there's like, I also don't care for the middle if the gameplay isn't changed from how it once was, and this is coming from hard mode. Had I played normal to hard, I would have seen a difference. But in hard mode, basically you have to learn the mechanics in hard mode versus normal mode where you don't have to touch. The mechanics for the most part you can disagree with what I say this is only my opinion but uh, this the way this game is is only warrants one playthrough that is it there is no difference there is no I don't think there is like an alternate cutscene they can't be an alternate cutscene only because of um the the, the tie-in nature of the game to the movie it's not like a reimagining. It's not a retelling. It's just this is what happened in between. And they went with a more interactive medium than uh, what you would see in a movie. So that's my take on this. I don't think I'll be doing any more of Enter the Matrix just because... There's nothing else here. I, I could probably take a look into like the hacking stuff. That'll be more worth it than this. But really, that the hacking stuff is just like, here are some cheat codes to like get through the game. So like, here, have fun. Take it for what it is. Dislike me if you dislike me. But like, there isn't much more to this game. That's it. This game is quite honestly just... In my opinion, it's a bad game. Story-wise, it's like it tells a story, but it's like... You could have just put one main character, told the story, and then that was it. It didn't have to be two main characters going to like... Not even like two different paths. Because they're not even going two different paths. Like, if they were going two different paths, then I'd be more curious as to, like, how they got there. But it's, like, a lot of it is not two different paths because their paths do, like, collide. It could be one of those, like, later on the paths really split. But it's, like, I don't care about, like, the personal backstory of Niobe enough to warrant a second playthrough of the exact same game. Actually, it's even worse. It's a dumbed down version because I'm coming from hard to normal. So, like, the gameplay is even more bland and boring. And it's really not keep keeping me on my toes. On top of that, again, the mechanics behind everything. Me climbing up a ladder and then an enemy already being there immediately spots me, immediately shoots at me before I can even get a chance to react. That is something that's... Realistic, realistically bad and you should keep enemies away from such areas you should make enemies not active when you have to climb up a ladder or when you have to do like certain stunts or make it more like action packed like vault over and be able to do a, more things 
that's my take on this, though. With that said, uh, get the fuck out. The tablet is not closed. I shall see all you guys later.